Hi, and thanks for logging on to the Daily Dvar, and here's a brand new Halakha for you. It's for Friday, the 28th day of October. Here we go. A reminder that you are in the middle of a two-day Rosh Chodesh. It starts Thursday night, goes through all day Friday, and all day uh, Shabbos also. And uh, of course, you'll have to remember to say all of your Rosh Chodesh additions in Yalav Yavo and half Halal will be said on Friday and on Shabbos. Just want to tell you something. It's not exactly Halachic, just a cute piece of advice that I always like to give. We have been saying um, Yalav Yavo throughout Sukkot just a few days ago. And every time we said Bayom, we always filled in Bayom HaSukkot, Chag HaSukkot, Hazeh, or whatever. Now it's Rosh Chodesh, and this, again, is not a halacha, just a piece of advice. Watch carefully to make sure that you don't slip and say uh, your insert for Sukkot, like you got a little bit used to saying. Make sure that you say Biyom Rosh HaChodesh Hazeh, which of course is the proper insert. If you forget to say Yalav Yavo um, on Rosh Chodesh at Shachris or Mincha, you must repeat Shmona Esrei, but if you forget on uh, the nighttime, then you don't have to repeat the Shmona Esrei. That's the rule for Rosh Chodesh Yalav Yavo, uh, and, and forgetting it in Shimon Esrei's. Remember that Yalav Yavo and Rosh Chodesh has to be added in your benching throughout Thursday night, Friday, and Shabbos. And remember also that on Shabbos morning, when you say Musaf, the, the insert for Musaf on Shabbos will be something that's called Atta Yatsarta. That's a long piece that we add because it's a Rosh Chodesh and it's Shabbos at the same time. And therefore, we'll say that special edition in our Shemona Esrei on this Shabbos. Nice idea to start your Shalash Shodesh your last meal on Shabbos, it's always a nice idea to make sure to start it before the sun goes down. You're going to be saying at that uh, benching at the end of Shabbos, you're going to be saying Ritzay because it was Shabbos. You're going to say Yalav Yavu because it was Rosh Chodesh. And so on this day, as really on any Shabbos, it's good to get your Hamotzi and your bread in while it's still Shabbos. So it makes sense to be saying Ritzay and Yalav Yavu and all that stuff, even though by the time you bench, it might be after sundown of Shabbos. I hope you get what I'm saying. Start Shal Shudas on time, so and eat your bread on time while it's still sunlight, um, while the sun is still up on Shabbos day, because when you bench, you're going to say uh, Yalav Yavu and Ritzay, which was the Shabbos eating, so get that eating done on Shabbos. Have a good Chodesh, and log on again after Shabbos for a brand new Halacha. Bye-bye.